our sixth annual A to A boot camp, and I, I take no credit for it. Commissioner Marvin Arrington approached me and uh, Commissioner Lisa Cupid at that time about expanding and getting into the issues of HOAs. Um, it's a prevalent problem throughout um, not only the state but all over the nation regarding HOAs. So we thought it was important to both one inform our citizens about some of the things that they can do. This day is important for us as far as how they can respond to uh, situations that are going in within their communities. Um, we, we're excited about this year's panel. Uh, unlike last year, we expanded it. We've got two parts. First part, is we focus on the housing market. Uh, specifically, we had a realtor, a banker, a builder who uh, came and spoke, and, and obviously our own zoning agency head. Um, in addition, the second part, we're going to get into crime. We're going to get into sort of the general marketplace and things that we think are important from a regulation perspective. So again, for Douglas County, it's all about empowerment and education. Uh, we have found over the years that people either love their HOA or they hate it. Uh, they're in Georgia, there are over 2 million Georgians living in over 10,000 different community associations, whether that's a HOA or a condo association. Uh, and so we have all these different sets of rules, over 10,000 different sets of rules for each community. Uh, and so uh, we figured that if homeowners know the rules, uh, that they can work better. And if board members understand the rules and the reasons behind the rules, that everyone can work better together because, uh, again, pe people either love their HRA or they hate it. It's about making sure that we have true community stakeholdership, that we're holding our tax dollars accountable, so that way our community still feels that we have the resources we need. Uh, but most importantly, when we have communities that have HOAs, that they're abiding by the same guidelines that we expect them to because they actually have foreclosing powers. And that dictates what the value holds in a neighborhood. Actually, I'm on a, on a board of a couple of HOA, and I have found certain rules that are not really available to understand exactly how to interpret. So I thought I'll come down and ask questions and maybe understand more about the HOA ma management side of it. I think it's very necessary for us to become knowledgeable so that we can really best get the results of the purpose of having an HOA. And it's, a, it's really community and helping the community and sustaining the viability of the community. So therefore, I thought it was very important that we do have events like this. Bottom line is that we really want the citizens to be empowered through education and hopefully they can change their condition. Uh, we can change and evolve some of the regulations that go on within the HOA communities and have a better life.